YouTube, it's Thea, and it is about 4 o'clock on a Friday. Um, I just got home from work, and I uh, figured it would be really fun since I have tomorrow off to go ahead and do a 24-hour readathon. I haven't done one in a really long time, and I have a lot of books that I'm trying to get caught up on, and I'm in the middle of a few. So I figured it'd be really fun to see how much I can get read, how much reading I can do in the next 24 hours. Um, I really love watching them. I know a lot of people enjoy them, so I figured I would do another one and see at the end to try to do as much reading in a 24-hour period and actually get <laughs> like a lot of reading done. So I'm really excited. Um, I figured I'd just pop in real quick and kind of show you guys my next my plan for the next 24 hours as far as what I want to read. Um, the first thing on my list is uh, Long Way Down by Jason Reynolds. This is a little sneak peek of a book that I recently hauled. Um, I got this, I went to my library book sale and this was a dollar. I've been wanting to read it for a while and so I figured it was a perfect opportunity to pick it up and read it. I actually just picked this up at work today and I'm more than halfway through because it is um, in verse so it is a really fast paced read. So I um, definitely want to go ahead and finish this tonight. If you don't know what this is about, basically it follows uh, Will who um is uh, after revenge for the murder of his brother and basically the entire thing takes place within 60 seconds in an elevator and it's such a fascinating concept of everything happening so quickly in 60 seconds um i'm really enjoying it so far it's interesting um and so my first goal is to definitely go ahead and finish this tonight I also would like to read Revival Volume 4, Escape to Wisconsin. Um, I feel like graphic novels are really easy things to read within a 24-hour period, and this is the last volume that we own that I have not read yet. It was on my January TBR, and I never got around to it, so I'd really like to get to this before the end of the month. If you don't know what Revival is about, basically it follows a um, Wisconsin town where uh, family members are sort of come back, family members who have died are coming back to life. And most of them are um, nonviolent, but there are a few who are starting to become violent. And um, it follows uh, it follows Officer Cypress, who is um, trying to figure out why these people have come back, why some of them are becoming violent. Also, you find out um, not a spoiler, but you find out that her sister has died and come back. And so she's also trying to figure out who murdered her sister. It's like a dark graphic novel series. It's very um, moody and it has been a very rainy and surprisingly snowy day, which we never get snow. Um, and I feel like this will be the perfect kind of thing to curl up tonight and read. So I'm really excited to get to this volume. A another thing I'd like to read tonight is also a little sneak peek into my February haul, and that's called D and Angel Volume One. This is a manga series that my boyfriend has been trying to get me to read forever, and it's very difficult to find the first volume. So when I saw it at my library book sale, I picked it up, and mangas again are something that's very easy to read. So I definitely want to go ahead and try to pick this up as well. I don't actually know what this is about. Um, uh, Dashevsky is an ordinary middle school student with an extraordinary genetic condition. Whenever he starts longing for the girl of his dreams, he transforms into the legendary phantom thief, Dark. The only way to lift the curse? To have his love returned, of course. But how can Dashevsky win the heart of a girl he's never, he can't even romance? This sounds like it's going to be really cute. So I'm really excited to go ahead and pick this up. I also want to pick up some more in Outlander. This has just been a project that I've been working on for the last couple of months and my book club is meeting at the end of this month to go ahead and discuss this. This I have as an audiobook so I've been listening to it as an audiobook so I'm going to spend the next 24 hours just reading as much as I can in the audiobook because um, I do have to get this finished before the end of the month. I'm almost done. I'm a little more than halfway through so this has just been a slow project that I've been working on through the month so I definitely want to try to see if I can get at least a couple of chapters done in this. And the last book that I'd like to try to read in this 24 hour period is a book that I have been working on all month and that is The Girl of Fire and Thorns by Ray Carson. Um, I am a little more than halfway through this as well. This I've just been working on in the last couple weeks. I have really enjoyed this. Um, I don't know I just I have so many things that I want to read that I read this and then I put it down and I pick up something else. Um, I forgot to kind of pick this up so I definitely know I want to get this done before the end of the month so I'm just going to try to read as much of this in, in the next 24 hours as well. So these are the five things that I would like to try to read in the next 24 hours. Um, it's a lot, I know, but a few of them are going to be really fast-paced reads 
and one is just going to be as I go through the day and then one is kind of be my main priority. Um, but I'm really excited to dive into all of these. They're all very different so um, it's going to be really fun just spending the next 24 hours reading as much as possible. But I'm really excited to dive into all of these. I will um, have I will keep you guys informed on my progress and take you along on this 24 hour readathon. Hope you guys are having a great Friday. Um, happy reading, and I will check in with you guys a little bit later. Bye. So it's like almost five o'clock. Um, I have finished Long Way Down by Jason Reynolds. I don't know my rating yet. I think I'm going to think on it. Um, and I might just wait to tell you guys what I think at the end of this kind of whole thing. I don't want to jump into my feelings right away. I always kind of like to, to mull on it, think of it. Um, I will say I predicted the way this ended. So, um, it was an interesting concept, but I'm gonna, I'm gonna stop there. Um, so I think I'm gonna think on it, and I will let you guys know, kind of at the end of this, my rating for it. Um, but that's one book done for this 24-hour readathon. So I think next I'm gonna go into D and Angel, because this will be another quick, fast-paced read, and, um, and then when my boyfriend gets home, I'll probably take a break because we're going to figure out dinner. Um, we might go do something tonight. I have no idea. But I think I might just go ahead and pick this up since this will be really fast paced. Um, and I will check in with you guys when I'm done. another update I ended up finishing D and Angel volume one I'm giving it three stars I really enjoyed it it's very cute very simple not a lot of substance um, so not a lot to kind of um, feel a lot a lot about but I really enjoyed it I think it's a good start to a series I want to continue with the series um, I enjoyed it I'm giving it three stars so um, as of now I have finished one full manga and um, I finished off a book which I'm really proud of so far. Um, I could have read more, but I did uh, watch uh, two episodes of Sex Education while dinner with dinner, um, and I'm really enjoying it. It's a very funny show. Um, I think it's, I think it's a great, I think it's a great um, show by Netflix, and I'm really excited to continue that. Um, but I am. Um, at that point in a 24 hour readathon where I actually am going to go to bed because I am someone who cannot function without sleep and um, I have no plans tomorrow um, but I wanted to pop in and let you guys know that I did finish that I um, am going to head off to bed I can never stay up for 24 hours during these readathons anymore um, so they're never actually a full 24 hours of reading but it's just 
for me personally, it's just a matter of how much reading I can do in a 24 hour period versus like staying up for 24 hours. But I hope everyone had a great day. Um, and I, um, but I will see you guys in the morning. Good night. Good morning, everyone. It's like 7.40 um, Saturday morning. I decided I was going to um, get up and uh, start the day off reading for this like 24 hour readathon that I'm doing. I honestly, I could sleep if I really wanted to. <sighs> I'm very much a person who I could sleep, but I'm, um, I'm like, nope, I have to get up. I have to get reading done. Um, it's, it's like 24 hour, 24 hour readathon, so I have to get as much reading done as possible. Um, and everyone else is still asleep, so I figured I'd come out into the living room, curl up on the couch, um, and start some reading. I am going to start the morning off with Revival Volume 4, Escape to Wisconsin, so this will be a really quick read. Um, I could read this and then, um, get ready for the day, but I, um, uh, will check in with you guys in a little bit. <laughs> about nine o'clock or so so um, I haven't finished revival yet because I got distracted um, and everyone in the house was up so I migrated back to my bedroom um, and I'm actually gonna go ahead and um, I'm actually gonna go ahead and uh, get some things done this morning I've got to pay some bills and stuff so I figured I would switch over to the audiobook for Outlander while I'm kind of um, checking some email and getting some work things done as well as um, getting the bills paid so any chance to squeeze reading in as pos as much as possible today so I'm gonna go ahead and switch over to the audiobook for Outlander um, I'm hoping to at least get two chapters read today um, it's a pretty like I know the story because I've watched the show but like the writing style is very detailed so it takes a very long time for me to like read a chapter um so i'm hoping that the audiobook can kind of help me um get some more of the reading done and i can listen to it at two times speed since i know the story um i'll check with you guys a little bit later bye hey guys so it's like 10 30 or so um i have listened to about an hour and a half of Outlander. I'm um, just getting some emails done, getting some work stuff done, paying some bills, um, and um, I'm gonna go ahead and dive back into Revival and finish this, um, and then uh, probably shower and get moving with the day. I do have to do a couple things, um, but I'm gonna go ahead and dive back into this, and I'll check in with you guys when I'm done. Hey guys, so it's like 12.40, I think, or so. Um, I finished Revival. Um, I think I'm gonna give it 3.75 stars it's not quite a four star um but i definitely enjoyed it more than like a three stars so maybe like three and a half 3.75 um but i just got out of the shower i am getting ready to head over to the mall to meet up with my boyfriend we're gonna go um he works at an escape room and so i'm gonna go ahead and meet him over there um and i am gonna listen to probably outlander um, while I finish getting ready and then pick up Girl of Fire and Thorns on my commute over there. Um, I am kind of feeling, feeling not too great as far as like with my reading progress. I would have liked to have more read. Um, but you know, I still, I still feel accomplished with what I have read so far and I'm hoping, I think I'm going to extend it because technically, um, I started last night at like four or five o'clock. I think I might extend it up until like tonight just because um, it's my readathon and I can do what I want. So um, I think I'm gonna extend it to probably later tonight, maybe like till 10 or so till I go to bed, um, just because I really, really wanna have a good chunk of Girl of Fire and Thorns read and I really wanna finish another chapter of Outlander. Um, I don't know how many pages I've read. I've listened to like an hour and 45 minutes of it, so I don't know how many pages I've read. Um, but that's my plan for the rest of the day. I don't know if I'm going to end up vlogging. I might vlog a little bit at the mall. Um, but, and I will check with you guys a little bit later. Bye.
10 30 or so um, I haven't really checked in at all today because I have uh, been powering through the girl of fire and thorns I finally finished it I read like oh I had like 250 pages today um, I just sat down over after we got home from the mall and I just sat down and I powered through it I forced myself to finish it I really enjoyed it I didn't love it um, I think it really started um, getting going like when when part two started um, so the second half of the book for me is a lot stronger than the first half of the book it's when the story kind of gets going I don't know what my rating is gonna be yet I think I'm gonna sleep on it um, and I'm probably gonna kind of do a full wrap-up for you guys tomorrow um, but I uh, just wanted to pop in and then you guys know that I finally finished The Girl of Fire and Thorns So my 24-hour readathon was a success. Cheated a little bit because I extended it um, But I'm really happy with all of my progress that I've done in the last 24 hours and I'm finally done and And I'm really happy that I finally finished this. I don't know why it's taken me so long to read it I did really enjoy it um I don't know, I just, I've been kind of in a slump lately, so I was hoping that this 24-hour readathon thing would kind of get me motivated to read again. Um, I think it probably did, because I'm really excited to read everything that I want to read. Um, and now that I finally finished this, I can move on to some other things that are on the top of my TBR. Um, but I hope you guys are having a great week or weekend. I hope you guys are all well. Um, thank you guys so much for watching, and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.